it really does seem as if the police have very little to do during uh, recently as multiple police forces have said that they are now investigating the crime of filming what appears to be empty hospitals. It's nice to know that they have uh, the resources to waste on this exercise when there are people out there begging the police to come and deal with real crimes of actual harm loss or damage. Some of you will remember Debbie Hicks who was arrested last week in a dressing gown after filming at Gloucester Royal Hospital. Many people were outraged, outraged by the actions of police and Debbie Hicks took to social media to post a video after the arrest to explain what happened. Where she explained she was arrested on suspicion of a public order offence for filming in a hospital. Now, I'm not entirely sure how filming in a publicly accessible building is a public order offence but no doubt the police will say that some of the hardly anyone there felt alarmed and distressed by a woman on her own walking around with a mobile phone in her hand. In fact, the only possible public order offence I could see was the interaction she had with two ladies as she left the hospital, but even that's debatable. However, a Gloucester Royal Hospital spokesman said filming patients who are waiting in A&E without their consent is both intrusive and upsetting as maintaining patient confidentiality is key to our hospitals being a safe space for you to receive the care you need. With local MP Siobhan Bailey saying that it's appalling that our Gloucestershire Hospital Trust had to spend their precious time during this difficult pandemic defending themselves against films on social media that were wrongly claiming the hospital is empty. Although it was actually empty, pretty much, so I'm not sure why it's claimed that she was wrong to have said it. Now, the NHS may be a private organisation and hospitals may well be on what's deemed private ground, but under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, it states exactly what's deemed as a public place. Public place includes any highway and any other premises or place to which at the material time the public have or are permitted to have access, whether on payment or otherwise, which makes the hospital a public place for the purposes of this. Even trespassing is a civil matter and not one for the police, unless the person aggravates the trespass by preventing a person from carrying out their lawful business, which again was not the case here. But this isn't the only incident of police investigating footage of empty hospitals. West Mercia Police and West Midlands Police have said that their probing reports of men walking around the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and Redditch's Alexandra Hospital, not wearing masks and filming for potential COVID-19 regulation breaches over the New Year weekend. Well, if they're filming for potential COVID-19 breaches, the police should be happy, seeing as they're asking everyone to turn into collaborator grasses at the moment anyway, and whether the men had face masks or not is also a bit of a moot point, as if they have conditions to prevent them from wearing a face mask, they're under no obligation to divulge that information. Chief Inspector Ed Hancock of West Mercia Police said, following reports that individuals were entering hospitals in Worcestershire to film, a number of men voluntarily attended Kidderminster Police Station to discuss the matter. At this time, no arrests have been made and no fixed penalties have been issued, but an investigation remains ongoing into potential breaches of the COVID-19 regulations. Hampshire Police are investigating a video as well. This one is of the Queen Alexandra Hospital in Portsmouth and are also investigating pictures that the same woman posted of St Richard's Hospital in Chichester and Southampton General Hospital, claiming they date from January the 4th, showing what seems to be more empty hospitals. A Hampshire police spokeswoman said the incident relating to the Queen Alexandra Hospital has been reported to officers. Initially, police said there had been no COVID-19 breach under their health protection regulations. However, the spokeswoman said new information in relation to this incident has been brought to our attention and we will be looking into what, if any, offences have been committed. Officers will also be attending the hospital to provide reassurance. Now, I can understand why the police are being told to deal with these videos. There are some people who simply don't believe the virus exists at all. I do, however, as I've said before, that, but there is no physical evidence that it is as bad as being made out. But the point here is that offences are literally being conjured up in order to deal with these incidents when no offence exists. With the police and government fighting so hard to hide what people are sharing, is it any wonder why people are still worried about what is being imposed on us all? Rather than trying to punish people for sharing things online, which is their right under freedom of expression, by the way, why do the government and medical experts simply come out and be honest? Explaining concise and easy to understand language, stop telling and informing us of what you're doing, but instead have a conversation with us. 
Be honest when you balls up. Admit that you've lied in the past over numbers and be transparent. Simply doing all you can to suppress people's rights under fear of violence and or arrest makes it appear that you are desperately trying to hide something from the people. Which of course we all know you are. But making it so bloody obvious is only going to spur more, spur more people on to try and show the government up. And will, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, turn more people off from the government's narrative and make more people wonder just what the authorities are trying to hide. Which isn't going to help the government at all. Although I guess we can be grateful that actual crimes in these areas have all been solved. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.